Hi there, and welcome back to Kitten School. So, how do you get a fearful, hissing kitten to go from this to this? I get a lot of questions about socializing shy kitties, and when I recently took in these three very scared foster kitties, I decided it was a great chance to make another video on the subject. These kittens, Giselle, Pele, and Georgie, were all hissing and cowering and just terrified. At almost three months old, there was no time to waste in getting these beauties socialized. The older a kitten gets, the harder he is to tame. So I knew it was time for Kitty Socialization Boot Camp. Starting on day one, these scaredies begin spending time in the social box. Now the social box is a small crate that I place in our living room area where the kittens can observe and absorb everything going on around them. People walking by, other cats visiting, and just the sights and sounds of a normal household. The kittens spend about 20 to 30 minutes in the box several times a day, with frequent breaks back in their larger crates for quiet time and sleeping. In the social box, scared kitties can become acclimated to their surroundings but are not able to run and hide. The worst thing you can do with a shy kitty is isolate them or allow them to isolate themselves. They have to be exposed to people. While they're hanging out in the social box, I can stop by here or there to stroke them, talk to them, and offer a treat. The kitties can watch me while I'm in the kitchen, working, or playing with the other cats. After a day in and out of the social box, little Giselle begins to show signs that she's willing to make friends. So I put her in a kitten harness, and she can roam a little bit, but she can't run and hide. But very soon, she no longer needs the harness at all, and she'll let me pick her up without bolting. Giselle is a straight A student. She catches on very quickly that we just want to love her and be friends. Within a few days, all signs of her shyness are almost completely gone. Her two big brothers, on the other hand, still have quite a ways to go. Of the two boys, Pele shows the most promise, so I start him on the kitten harness. After a while, I allow him some freedom to play. He's still shyer than Giselle, but he allows me to pick him up and he'll even approach me on his own to see if I have any snacks. Our little ginger boy, Georgie, however, is proving much harder to win over. Georgie gets cuddle sessions whenever I can fit them in, from snuggling in my robe while I make coffee in the morning to chilling on the couch during movie time. When we go visit family for Christmas, Georgie comes along. Surprisingly, he does very well riding in the car and he seems to even enjoy it. He starts to purr when he's being held, a kitty milestone. Spending some time away from his brother and sister helps Georgie bond closer with us. Back home after the holidays, Georgie is doing so much better, but he's still not quite ready to have full run of the house. So he gets playtime with the other kittens in a closed room. He's still a little jumpy and shy, but Georgie cannot resist challenging me to a game of rollerball. This playing is a great sign that Georgie is beginning to let some of his fear fall away. It's been about two weeks now, and Georgie is starting to become more comfortable with me, but if I'm gonna get him adopted, he has to be okay with other people too. So when we have family in town, I bring Georgie out to visit. He's wearing his kitten harness in case he tries to bolt away, but he does really well as our friends and family hold and pet him. Giselle and Pele are doing great. They're ready to be adopted. And I'm starting to see big changes in Georgie too. When I go get him out of his crate in the morning instead of cowering in the corner, he greets me with his ears and tail up, meowing and walks towards me. Georgie no longer has to stay in the social box, and he's now allowed to play around the house. He's very food motivated, so he loves following me when I go into the kitchen. He's still nervous when someone approaches quickly and will usually run away, but almost always comes right back. But we have come so far from when Georgie arrived at kitten school as the hissiest of the three scaredy kittens, and he's well on his way to being a happy, well-adjusted cat who can both give and receive love. 
Stay tuned for part two as we continue our socialization work with Georgie and eventually find him a forever home. Do you have any tips for making friends with a scared or shy kitty? Tell us about it in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to pounce on that subscribe button and join the Kitten School family. Kitten School is the place to be. Subscribe now.